I walk in his apartment one day in the afternoon. I'm happy to see him. <laughs> he's back there. And he's got a screen up and a curtain. And like another screen. Okay. He's got no shirt on. And I walk in and he gives me the the lips over the lips. Goes, what's going on? And he goes. And all of a sudden, what's the guy's name? What's the pretty boy's name? I did not know this. I, I did not know this. What's the real pretty guy in Hollywood? Not Leonardo DiCaprio, but the other guy with the blonde hair. Brad Pitt? No. Fabio? No. The blonde hair, short. He did the movie with about the fucking black people. He played the attorney. Well, that's how his career got started, A Time to Kill. Uh, Good looking guy, smokes reefer. Is has that a, Matthew McConaughey? Yes, Matthew McConaughey. So I walk into Ralphie's. I don't know dick about dick people, okay? I'm just a. It's, it's got to be 19. It's got to be 2001 to. It's, I was the only person who was allowed in that house when Ralphie didn't have a shirt on. Like, that's how much that's he trusted love. me at yeah, the time. That's love. I walk in, Ralphie kind of covers up. He forgot he left the door open. And he's like, shh. And I go, what's the matter? And he goes, shh. And all of a sudden he's like, Matthew McConaughey, your movie sucked dick. And all of a sudden he would go like this, and all of a sudden you hear, fuck you. And he, Matthew McConaughey, I went to see your last movie. You owe me $8.50. And Matthew McConaughey and him were having this verbal dialogue that I knew nothing about until that moment. Where the hell was Matthew McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey had a garage. <laughs> if you go behind 1440, okay, if you go behind, <laughs> if you're driving towards Sunset from Fountain, yep. and you're on Gardner, right before you hit Sunset, there's an El Compadre parking lot. Yep. And you can make a right in there. You went too far. About 11 yards before that, before you get to Ralphie's building, if you hook the right. Yep. There's an apart there's a string of apartment buildings. Parking for those apartment buildings are back there. But there's some people who rent their garages. A friend of his rented his garage to Matthew McConaughey. Oh, that's great. And Matthew McConaughey was working on a car back there. And he would go back there in the afternoons with no shirt on, with a hat. And Ralphie would spend his fucking day yelling. Torturing him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how great's Ralphie. Matthew McConaughey, your movie sucks. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Like an 11 year old. And then, can prank phone well, here's the funny thing. Like, I didn't, I hung out with him and I did not know this. And all of a sudden, they blew the whistle on him. Like, this has been going on for 90 days. <laughs> and the funny thing was, everybody else in the building was in on it. Gavin was in on it. Fucking somebody else. There was somebody else in the building who said, it is one of the funniest things to listen to. He goes, I was sleeping one day, and I woke up to <laughs> those two going off. And he goes, I thought it was Ralphie having a conversation with somebody else in the South. Oh, he goes, it so was Matthew funny. McConaughey. He goes, when I looked out the window, because those apartments don't have air conditioning. Uh, so your window's always got to be open. Oh, that's so... F Did they ever become friends? No. Till this day, Matthew McConaughey goes back there, and he probably looks back there and see if somebody's going to yell at him. Why would Matthew McConaughey put up with that? <laughs> it's so funny. Now, it was dark. So, like I told you guys, I went back there one day. After this went on, it baffled me. Like, I'm a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're arguing with Matthew McConaughey. With the movie star around town. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Like, he would sing songs. Torturing him. So, <laughs> so good. <coughs> oh my god. So, did did he Matthew McConaughey ever confront him and really like? No, Matthew McConaughey finally did something. Uh, Matthew McConaughey did something. Like he did something. Oh my god. I can't remember what he did. Like he snapped one day. And he's like, "Come out, you fucking pussy." <laughs> he finally he confronted, <laughs> confronted the building. He says now, it was three floors. But how Ralphie was doing it, it sounded like it came from the top floor. So he's looking in the wrong window? Something. Ralphie was on the first floor right in front of him. But the way Ralphie had it padded and the whole system, uh, Ralphie worked. Throwing his voice like <laughs> Jeff on him. It was. And I remember going back there one day. And just because there's a lot of times we would sit and smoke dope. 
Like a lot of times, it was such a popular area. I, right now, at the top of my tongue, I forget who lived there then. <laughs> but you always bumping into comics in that area. Yeah, it was, we like a co it was almost like being on a college yeah, campus. Yeah, we would sit on that wall. Plus, the karate teacher, who I, I loved the shit out of, uh, had a car back there, and he would work on it. And one day, he asked me, he goes, fucking Matthew McConaughey <laughs> brought his car to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> they fucking hate him here. And I'm howling. And, I go, what are you? and I'm trying to control myself. And I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, boy, he tries to fix his cars back there. And there's somebody in that building who fucking tortures him. <laughs> oh, it's so good. He goes, and one day, two or three people got in on it. And that's what happened. Like, Gavin would get on it and shit. <laughs> Were he doing every day that he was there, too? Every time, if Matt, if if listen to me, if Ralphie had a meeting and he was about to leave and he looked out the window and he see Matthew McConaughey jacking up his car, the meeting would be canceled. He booby trap his window and he just start yelling for the top of his lawn. That's so I wish he recorded it. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! That was like a Jerky Boys. Oh. CD that you could buy, <laughs> Ralphie just hammering Matthew McConaughey's balls. You have, it was, you know, and like I said to you guys, at this time I was walking around with nothing. <laughs>